So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Jeffman 316 custom YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jeffman316, your pop culture reporter, and coming to you with a somber video today. Um, and it's a, a video where we're going to remember uh, ECW legend uh, Jerome Young, aka New Jack. Um, if you didn't know, New Jack uh, passed away uh, this weekend. Uh, I think Paul Heyman even did a tribute to him on Talking Smack. But um, though I don't normally do this, and I'm not going to do it for every wrestler. I just thought that this is a wrestler that uh, is usually the mainstream wrestling fan doesn't know much about. Um, I, uh, I've got a, a one or two little personal stories that I've actually told people recently about my experience going to local ECW shows and they involve New Jack. So I thought with that being said, it would be nice to make a, a remembrance video, um, and then put a story out there that I have that's on a personal level. I don't, I've met lots of wrestlers, but I don't really have any like really cool stories with a lot of them. And I actually do have one for New Jack. So that's the purpose of this video. We'll talk about him a little bit and I'll give you that story. So before we get into it, please support my channel as well. Um, like this video. Um, even if you don't like New Jack, if you like me and my content, like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're the first time, if it's your first time here, we do a lot of pop culture stuff, including wrestling. Uh, I'm into wrestling figures and wrestling uh, shows, so uh, I do, I'm going to just randomly do wrestling stuff as it pops up. And then subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the notification bell because you'll be the first to know when I post new wrestling videos. So uh, let's get on with the video and let's talk about the life and times of New Jack. And I'll give you a personal account of a story that I have. Let's go. So YouTube, like I said, we're going to be talking about Jerome Young, a.k.a. New Jack. Um, I really was never that big of a fan of his because uh, if you watched any of his videos he didn't really have a lot of remorse for the people that he either hurt on purpose or not on purpose in the ring he was kind of an asshole i would guess you know he's probably you know was big on drugs and everything so i never really followed him i did like some of his matches in ecw because i thought they were funny because of how violent they were um until i watched that uh recent series on vice dark side of the ring which they actually interviewed him and had an episode about him i didn't know some of the stuff you know like that i didn't even realize that he was in smoky mountain wrestling and that jim Cornette but started him on there and then basically he was you know too rough for tv almost uh, back then uh formed their the you know the original gangsters and then went from there obviously into ecw and that's where he became famous um I remember a lot of the stuff he did in XPW just because of how violent that stuff was. But uh, just to give you a brief overview, if you're not familiar, you need to go check out that Dark Side of the Ring episode. There's two main things that I think New Jack uh, incidents, quote unquote incidents, that he's famous for. Um, the first one is the mass transit incident. I'm not going to get too much into that because you can see, you know, all you got to do is Google that and see it. But it was basically where... Um, Mass Transit was a, I think it was a 16 year old kid. Is that how he was? I can't remember. I'm not going to Google that, but uh, who pretended he was 21 and ended up backstage in an ECW show and was trying to get into wrestling. This person backstage talked themselves into the match. New Jack knew that he wasn't a professional wrestler, and when he proceeded to uh, cut the boy with a damn scalpel in the match, he basically cut him on the forehead so deep it was down to his skull. <laughs> And the poor boy almost bled to death. And New Jack has been said, has said in several interviews that he meant to do it. And that, you know, at that time he was actually probably trying to kill the boy. So uh, I thought that was a little, uh, a little crazy. And then the second thing that most people remember uh, New Jack for is when he damn threw uh, Big Grimes off that damn 40 foot scalpel. Um, I actually own the DVD here of the XPW event. It was called Free Fall. And the match is on the front at the top. But it says, over two years in the making, Big Grimes and New Jack vow to end their feud once and for all in a free-for-all scalpel match. The only way to win is to throw your opponent off a scaffold into a ring 40 feet below. So, um, they had already had some previous history. I'll read you some. During the Living Dangerously uh, pay-per-view in March 2000, 
a breakdown in communication, a breakdown in communication between you, Jack, and Big Grimes led to both men tumbling off a 20-foot high scaffolding rig onto concrete. Uh, New Jack suffered brain damage and was permanently blinded in his right eye. And he also said that he's got permanent ins uh, insomnia. But it was because Vic Grimes was supposed to go off and they were supposed to go off together and help cushion the blow with both of them going off. And Vic Grimes was hesitant and ended off coming off after New Jack. And I think he landed on him and broke his skull, broke New Jack's skull. And, and New Jack held that against him that whole time saying that he basically, you know, almost killed him. And so when they got the opportunity to fight in XPW, New Jack basically tried to kill him. I mean, he throws him off the scaffolding and he overshoots it. And if within a few feet, if he had hit that ring post, he would have probably broke his neck or it would have punctured basically his whole midsection. But he ended up going through at least the corners of the table, which cushioned his blow. And luckily, Vic Grimes came out of that and ended up being, you know, okay. Uh, ended up way less injuries than off of a 40-foot scaffolding than New Jack did off of a 20-foot one. But either way, I mean, as you can see, that's how crazy that shit was. But the story that I have is more on a personal level. Back in 1999 and 2000, um, New Jack came to Salem, Virginia, which is a, you know, probably what 50, 70 miles away from me where I am now. Um, they came to did two house shows, and we couldn't believe my, my friends and I that the ECW was coming, so we had to do everything to see them. So during um, those events, um, I think I've got the results pulled up here, but. You know, ECW didn't play in very many big arenas. And the Salem Civic Center holds, I think in those shows, they ended up having like 2,200 people in each one. But there was one show where um, the main event was Rob Van Dam versus Rhino. And there was a match in the middle where New Jack fought Vic Grimes. So I don't know whether it was that match, and that was in December of 1999. But there was another show in October of 2000, and I went to both of them. Um, that one, I think, only had maybe about a thousand people at it. There was a match in the middle of that one where, um, I think it was at, it was at the main event, where it was the Sandman, New Jack, and Chili Willy defeated Just Incredible, Tony DeVito, and Angel. So it was basically the Baldies and Just Incredible. Um, I think that was the show I met Just Incredible afterwards. We got autographs with Francine. I think I got an autograph of RVD. But... Even with those people that we met, one of the coolest things at that show was an interaction indirectly that we had with New Jack. And so I'll go ahead and tell you that real quick. So as we're lined up outside the arena, uh, we, we're by in front of a guy who's got a bag, a grocery bag, probably, you know, one of those old um, paper ones, didn't have plastic ones at the time. And he had it totally filled with kitchen utensils and items like cheese graters, um, meat hammers, not a cleaver, obviously no knives, um, pots, pans, anything that small that could be used as a weapon in the kitchen, cutting board, I think, kind of stuff. Uh, he had in a bag and got up to the front of the damn line. And when the security asked him what he was doing with that bag, he said, well, I'm bringing these. I see New Jack get weapons from the crowd all the time. I'm bringing this bag into the crowd. Uh, I want New Jack to take my weapons. So they said, no, sir, we're not going to let you bring this shit into the building. No. So they, he had to leave that with security on the outside. So we get into the arena, didn't even think twice about it. So it comes around time for New Jack to come out for his match. And New Jack, the first thing that he did that was memorable, he went down to the end of the street and, you know, going into any of these uh, venues or down major streets, they've got the green road sign and they would have had one at the bottom. It said Salem, Salem Civic Center this way with an arrow. He had taken the damn Salem, Salem Civic Center green sign off the end of the um, end of the road, unscrewed it, brought it in with him and was going to hit somebody with it as a weapon. So he did that. And then as the match goes on, he goes over to the side and comes back with that damn garbage bag full of stuff that that guy brought in for all the weapons. And the security must have ended up either give it to him or he ended up seeing it and he ended up using those weapons in the match. And we went crazy and you could see the guy on the side who was yelling that it was his stuff. And it was one of the most funniest memorable moments that I've ever had at a live wrestling event just to, to witness something like that happen kind of organically and it all happened because of New Jack. So um, even though I've got some small stories 
with wrestlers or whatever that is definitely one of my most memorable and i wanted to share that with all of you guys so like i said in this video i'm going to remember new jack that way i'm going to go ahead also um i've got some new jack actual figures some of the old san francisco toy maker figures um i've got the original one that had the noose on it i've got the re-release where they made him remove the noose uh, the, made him re re remove the noose and then i've got the one from the later series so i'm going to record some up close footage of those and i'll insert it right here so i'll sh quickly show you the figures the from san old san francisco toy makers or was it original san francisco toy makers here's the first figure that i got that's uh he's got a bandana around his head um, he's got painted on hair, which New Jack was bald, so I don't know why they did that. Um, these figures are kind of cheesy, but I like them because they look kind of retro. It says No Limit Soldiers, and like I said, look, it's got a noose around his neck. You kind of figure when they um, did that, kids, some people will complain. So it says No Limit Soldiers on the back, and these figures had an action feature when you when you move the lever on the back. So there's that first one. So they made him remove the the noose, and here's the re-release of the figure. Basically the same thing with just the noose, not around his neck. Same action. Same um, painted on hair, even though he was bald. Got a bandana around his head. And then they released one later in another series, maybe like Series 3 or something. That's this one. It's got the 187 necks on the front. And this one, at least, he's actually bald got the bandana around his head and you can see the little nicks and stuff in his forehead um, this is my favorite one of the bunch it's got the same action item on it but so there's the three um, new jack figures that they released from the original san francisco toy makers line of ecw figures so i hope you enjoyed looking at those figures that was kind of cool hope you heard, enjoy hearing about those stories so, like I said, this was more of a remembrance of him, but since we are talking about his death, um, I do want you guys to take a moment and remember the life and times of Jerome Young, a.k.a. New Jack. And so let's have what we, I guess we could call a Tim Bell salute So in honor of him. So let's all pray. So thanks everybody for coming by. Like this video, if you will, subscribe to the channel. And then if you are a subscriber or you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I post new videos. And I really appreciate you guys coming by and remembering you, Jack, with me today. And this is Jeff Man 316 your pop culture reporter, signing out saying you guys be safe out there.